Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and this is gonna be one of those discussion style videos So after you're done watching it, make sure you leave a comment in putting your thoughts Want to hear your guys' response to the question I'm gonna ask in this video Which is do you ever pay full price for PC games? And when I say full price, I really mean any price above $40 Even before a game is released, you can find deals on them getting them for $40 to $50 Let's say a game retail release is $60 at the very least before release you can get 20% off on sites like Green Man Gaming and you'll get it for 48 bucks and sometimes you can find games for even cheaper than that and that's before the game is even released on PC and that's what I consider full price. I rarely ever consider $60 to be full price because while that is MSRP hardly anyone is paying $60 for a PC game. I don't think that really ever happens unless it's like a select few titles like games for Windows Live titles. I believe you can't buy those on third-party retailers but you get the idea and why I ask this question is because because ever since I started doing the top five best PC game deals of the week, it's really become something to think about because to me, looking at all the different game prices and the deals that are available every week, to justify dropping anything above $40 on a game is very difficult to me. I don't care if it's the greatest game of the year. To drop over $40 on a game, it's just very hard for me to justify that because the amount of games that are released every year, I feel, is astronomically high. There are great games being released every month above 10 in some months great games being released just that month alone and there's no possible way for you to keep up with every great game released and that's why when I look at deals on games from two years ago that you might have missed out on a game like Shadows of Mordor I think was a great game maybe you missed out on that game you can either buy the latest game that's been released for 45 to 50 dollars or you can pay five bucks for a game like Shadows of Mordor you can buy titles like the Metro Redux collection both Metro Last Light and Metro 2033 for just six dollars you can get the older assassin's creed game games like assassin's creed 4 which is exceptionally great in my opinion just great games upon great games for ridiculously cheap prices and when you look at the price of those games a lot of them which you have missed it's very rare for somebody to have played all of the great games that have come out in the last two to three years when you compare the prices of those games that you missed to the newly released games you can get like 10 titles that are a year or two old versus a newly released game maybe i should do a video like that games that you could buy with a $50 budget because you can get a ton of games if you're just thrifty enough and with PC gamers it's super easy to be thrifty if you just look at the Steam midweek sales and the daily deals you can find great deals just on there and then Green Man Gaming is just a click away that to me on PC if you're releasing a game for anything above $50 you're gonna have a very hard time selling it even above $40 if you look at one of the games that recently have released Bayonetta that game came out at $20 and it actually sold really well on PC over 100,000 copies, I believe, is the estimate. And that's a very good amount to sell. Now, that game was only $20, and I'm sure Sega's making a killing, even selling it for just 20 bucks because all the sales are download, and you get a larger portion of the revenue versus selling a game physically. I believe the split that goes around online is like Steam gets 30%, the developers get 70%. I don't know if that's accurate. Steam probably sets up different agreements with different developers, but you get the point. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below. Do you ever buy games for $60, $50, or even $40. Since I am a YouTuber, I do have the leeway of picking up different titles. Sometimes I'll get games for free from the developers, so I don't really have that issue. But just thinking about it from a regular consumer's mindset, to me it just seems absurd dropping anything above $40 on a game when you can just look and you find great games, play those for now, and then six months down the line, the games that are coming out are also going to be super cheap. It's just crazy these days how cheap games get. And how quickly they get, I don't know if it's because there are so many different online retailers that are trying to get the gamers money. I don't know what it is, but nonetheless, it's great to see how cheap you can amass a great library of PC games. It's a little ridiculous, but at the same time, does that devalue the notion of picking up a game day one? Because as you guys probably know, picking up a game day one is also not a great idea because of all the bugs, glitches, hiccups you're going to encounter. For example, if you skip down on a game like Dishonored 2 last fall, now you can pick up that game for less than $30, it runs much better than it did at launch, and you're making out like a bandit. I mean, it's only been five months since that game was released. If you paid $60 for that game, you had to go through the weeks of that game being fine-tuned for it to finally run well on PC, and even then, you paid $60 bucks for the game, or at the very least, you know, $45, $50, and now five months later, the game is running a lot better, albeit not perfect, but you can find it for like $25 to 
$30. So to me, it just seems so hard to drop full money on even on the newest game, no matter how good it is. Even a game like Nier Automata, which I've been raving about, I think is a fantastic game. If you go online, you have to drop like $45 to buy that game. And for that price, I just can't justify it. No matter how good of a game it is, I just can't justify dropping that kind of money on a PC game when you look at all of the other games that are available at such cheap prices. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you ever drop over $40 on PC games? Obviously, there are the games that every year, that's just your most anticipated game of the year and you have to play it day one. Like for example, when The Elder Scrolls 6 releases, I'm sure a lot of people will be dropping over $40, $50 on that game. And that's because that's your most anticipated game of the year. There are those select few games that you can really justify dropping over $40 or $50 on. But to me, the number of those games is getting smaller and smaller every year. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a request for a future video, you can also leave that in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.